going to film this, huh? No, no, no. I'm excited. I am too. Very. Everything's worked out well. We get a lot of prayer support, a lot of money support. Can't complain. Got there excited over on the other side for us to come. I keep getting emails from people over there saying, oh, we're really looking forward to seeing you. Anxious to meet you and your wife. And so they're, they're looking forward to, forward to us coming. And to be a typical woman, the only thing I don't, I'm not happy about is my hair. What? I don't have a curling iron. What? It's too long. What? Because I have 220 plugs and, and didn't have enough curl in it. What? Mine wouldn't have worked. <laughs> Are you seriously suggesting that right now the biggest thing on your mind when you're headed to South Africa is your hair? Yeah, that's a woman for you. Yep, we have seven suitcases. What? Two carry-ons. What? And two backpacks. And all the suitcases weigh 50 pounds. What? One, and it weighs 70 pounds. Mama and Dulles. for Grandmama and Cameron to not miss each other so much. That reminds me about Cameron, and Cameron's got one that reminds her about me. Mm. I'm looking forward to driving on the left-hand side of the road with a left-hand stick shift. I'll come back with a, with a new um, skill. You have six months to find me a 14-inch or larger. <laughs> How do you Jim expect Bay. me to get that back home? Well, it wouldn't be any harder than the 10-inch one I have now. <laughs> but your sister brought back. I know, so with the case. <laughs> well, I'll do my best. We'll do our best. Oh, and if you can find any good rain sticks, too. Oh. Rain sticks? You know rain I have stick one of those at home. Well, then get, me a, get another one. Well, you can have get mine. A, get a bigger one. You can have well, mine. My gosh, mine's four feet long. It needs to be about 10 feet long. Oh, my I'm, word. I'm not bringing home a 10 no, foot No, I can't not 10 feet, but literally like five to six feet would be great. Well, I, I can't carry something five to six feet. The it'd, be, it'd be like a fishing pole. I mean, being your age and being a long way away and for a long period of time, if anything happens, you know, it's just... Yeah. Well, we just, you know, we've done all we can do to make sure that everything, I've got all of my medicine and Mama's got all of hers. Been in pretty good health for the last few months. So we just have to pray that things go well, stay well. If they do, we'll be okay. If not, we have very good insurance. We have very good insurance. I feel kind of like a kid in the candy store. It's a new experience. My only regret is I'd love to have started doing these, you know, maybe six month thing many, many years ago rather than. Age. Right then, at this age. You, know. but you really had to kind of wait till you retired. What time does your flight leave? One thirty. One, one, yeah, actually it's one twenty-four. I thought it was one thirty-four. It's one twenty. It's a twenty-four hour, twenty-minute trip. Today's January fourteenth. Yes, two thousand thirteen. Thirteen. We're getting there on January fifteenth at nine forty at night. Twenty-four hours and twenty minutes. About 24 hours. It's a 24 hour, 20 minute trip. Today's the, uh, Cape Town is eight hours ahead. Gotcha. <laughs> At or underway. One pound overweight? No. The way they are right now, it's gotta be six That one was way overweight. We, overweight. we knew it was gonna be. So. It's gonna be $800 where they are. These are our nearest friends. They've been friends of ours for 50 years. I was in there You're old. I was in there with you. I know. <laughs> you know I'm at least 50 years old. At least 50. <laughs> I just want that you to know, Brian, that, that I survived two weeks with this man on a boat. 
All right. Held on a river cruise. A <laughs> river cruise. In Europe. In Europe. In Europe. In Europe. And I survived. That's right. I know. That's right. She you didn't did. get the t-shirt that said that? <laughs> I survived on <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> weird. Well, what's going to be weird about this is the stick shift. And the stick is over here. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be a little bit. Yeah. I think the floor pedals are the same. I don't think they're different. Yeah. This is going to be the hard part. Yeah. I'll tell you what, left hand, yeah. I'm a cushion with everything right hand. You're liable to put it in reverse. I might. put it in first. Who knows? Uh -huh. I might. If I can make it past the, the roundabouts, I'll be all right. <laughs> Try to focus on one thing. All right, thing now look at me. I'm waiting to eat the flash now. Let's everybody take a picture. Everybody take a picture. You're going to be a celebrity. Okay, Cammy, come here. Leave the flash going. Get one my Make sure you get my good side. Which side is that? You're on the back side. Alright, take my picture first. Yes, I know. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Two times, is it? This is yeah. pushing it, right? I'll still get off of the mail. No, no, I'll hug you. Bye bye, darling. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you so much. Interesting, that's huge, this is perfect. <clears throat> hey, mo hey mom, you gotta lift it up. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's in the case still. Uh, I know, but. Can you see? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's awesome, that's perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. And see, it's got hair, right? the animal hair right there. 
Yeah, we, the, the journal has all the details, and we have been, we've done so much since we've been over here um, that it would be, it would be really hard even to encapsulate it in a, in a, in a brief conversation because, you know, I, we're, we're, we're on the back side of the mountain right now, we've only got two months left, and, uh, you know, I've, I've been teaching, and Mama's been doing her craft work out in the townships, and teaching her Bible studies, and, uh, Last night, we, I mean, we've made a lot of new friends over here. Last night, we went over to some friend's house and played hand to foot with uh, four other people. We had a typical United States American cookout uh, for the faculty and staff at the seminary. And, uh, we, you know, for us, it, it, it's, it's nothing. I mean, we just had hamburgers and hot dogs and potato salad and baked beans. And mother made some of that uh, McGuire's uh, Irish pub bread pudding, and we had gone and gotten a bottle of rum and made some uh, made the sauce. And I mean, you'd have thought you'd have thought we had laid out a a a, a, uh, a feast for them. I mean, they wanted the recipes for the baked beans. They said, "What's in the baked beans?" I said, "Baked beans." And, and of course, mother doctors them up a little bit, so. She gave them that recipe, and they wanted the recipe for the potato salad. They didn't have they 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 eat sort of a form of potato salad, but it's not like ours. It doesn't have a lot of the stuff in it that we have. And they, I mean, you know, they eat it like it's going out of style. And then um, they kept asking me, "Well, what was in your hamburgers?" And I said, "Hamburger." And, and they said, well, "How did you make them?" I said, "I took." I took, they call it mince, we call it hamburger meat, they call it mince. Uh, mince simply meaning it's been, it's meat that's been ground up. I said, I just took some mince and I made the burgers. I said, I, and I should, I'd use my hands and I, I, you know, show them how I made the patties. And I said, and they said, that's all, you didn't put anything in it. I said, no. And what they do, when they have a hamburger, they put bread. It's kind of like making a meatloaf. Kind of like making a meatloaf, yeah. Kind of like making a meatloaf. And they and they put all this crap in the patty and and you know and it doesn't taste like a hamburger when it's over with and and, and I, we did have about three quarters of a bottle of Dale sauce left. Oh and I man! Sprinkled Dale sauce. I sprinkled Dale sauce over it, and I think that's what they were tasting. Uh, not really. I mean, we've seen you know we've seen just about all the touristy things to see around here, and we did uh, we did spend a weekend over in Gordon's Bay, which is across the bay, uh, a couple of weekends ago guy owns a house over there and uh, let us let us go over there for a weekend. They just paved our road this week. <laughs> it had been paved. It had been paved. Yeah, it had been repaved. But it had so many potholes in it that it uh, bounced you and knocked you around. But uh, they repaved it this week and it really is good. My car won't know what to do with driving on a smooth road. It's been kind of a hassle to have to uh, commute. I commute about 31 or 32 kilometers a day, which is about almost 20 miles. So. What would you say so far has been the most moving thing you've seen since you've been there? Oh, the most moving is my students. That's that. My, my students are, I have students from all over Africa. I have the, the Democratic Republic of Congo. I have them from Zimbabwe, Malawi, um, Nigeria, um, they're, they're literally from all over, all over. You know, when you have one, it, 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 I had one after Greek class, Greek two class the other day that came in my office, and uh, he said, Doc, he said, uh, you really challenged me today. His name is Adi Oye, and I call him Adi. I said, well, Adi, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. Uh, he had, he felt like he was not he had not been studying like he should, and he was determined now that he was going to start. Oh, he's a good student. And I have him in both my Greek class and my Ephesians class. He's done well in both. And uh, and then then I had one the other day that came up to me in the hallway, and he said, "Doc, he said this was after Ephesians," uh, and he said he said, "I just want you to know that I have gotten more out of this out of this class learning about what Paul." wrote in Ephesians than I have almost any class that I've had in seminary. I mean, those are the kinds of statements that you just can't, you know, you can't concoct. So, that's, that's really been the most, for us, 
the, the biggest and most. And I had one one student uh, as a result of one of my Ephesians lectures that wrote me a, an email about how he had been in drugs, alcohol, and all this stuff, and how the Lord had changed him so much because he just he just knew that that drinking alcohol and, and taking drugs was wrong, and uh, and he and he and he had a family, and, and he uh, well I don't know whether he, yeah in fact he lost his first wife, they divorced, and uh, and he he told me his whole story about how he was called to the ministry and and how it, how things had changed his life and how. My Ephesians course was contributing to you know his his life. So it, it, those are just things you can't you know you just simply can't uh, you, you 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 can't write them like a story because they they just you know it's just that it's, it's real life. Mom, are you on Facebook? What do you miss the most so far? Krispy Kreme donuts. First thing we're going to do on the way home from the airport is go buy Krispy Kreme and get Krispy Kreme donuts. No, it's just, you know, like making the lemon ice box pie. They don't have anything that even resembles a vanilla wafer. Like cheese or milk, the due date on it just doesn't use it. Uh, last that long. Three days, four days at most is a due date on the milk. They eat foods that you wouldn't normally eat. You eat ostrich, although it's very good. It's very good. I fed it to Judy and Deanne when they were here. I don't like it. A mother didn't like it. I thought it was too gamey tasting. Hello. The time has gone by very quickly, and we are we are, we are looking forward to coming home. But we have really enjoyed our time here, and looking forward to the next two months and finish it up. Um, I want to go to Cracker Barrel and have a carrot cream donut when I get home. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's really uh, everywhere you look. There's a beautiful sunset, sunrise. There's a lot of mountains. Um, scenery changes every day. Uh, We've had some unusual experiences like the uh, the 19 pilot whales that beach themselves right down here on the beach and you know uh, the fires that we had early in the uh, or late in the summer and it, it's, it's been an experience that's for sure but uh, we've enjoyed it. And it's almost nine o'clock and we have to go to church. <laughs> Sorry, Otherwise are... we're gonna miss it because it's only we have to have Sunday school it's just church from nine to about ten thirty. I think we look kind of good, actually. I do too. I think we look pretty good to be South, to be African American. We'll chat with you later.